HVAC with Stephen Rarden is sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. It is Wednesday, October 4th. There's not a whole lot been going on today, but I do have a heat pump checkup for a customer that I had installed this system for probably a little over a year ago. Um, he hasn't, uh, hasn't mentioned having any issues, so I guess we'll see what we find when we get there. Just a uh, complimentary checkup. Here we are at the condenser. This refrigerant piping for the previous unit came up from underground and the drain line also came up from underground so we ran a new refrigerant pipe up the back and a drain line on a condensate pump we've got a Heil NH or N4H 424 TXV inside piston outside like the interior is holding up nicely exteriors in good shape as well not a whole lot of leaves and debris to deal with so we're gonna get the I manifold set up and check the charge We've got a 35.5 capacitor. I'm going to check it with the power off. We've got 4.97 on the fan side and 34.3 on the compressor side. I'm going to check the fan amps. <clears throat> Full load amps is. Point six. The Testo 770-3 is reading 0 0.7. Just for fun, we're going to compare it to the DL429. And it's reading 0 .6, 0 0.62. So we're within reason there for sure. Let the system run for a little while and balance out the refrigerant charge. While we're waiting on that, we'll take bolts and amps off of the condenser. We've got 122 on line one, 122 on line two. currently running about 5.2. The TXV is calling for an 11 degree subcooling. So we're going to let it balance before we decide whether we need to add any charge.
gonna go ahead and pull the reversing valve wire to simulate heating without having to go into the thermostat. And we'll also keep the auxiliary heat off by doing that. Superheat and subcooling on a heat pump in heating, it is not unusual to see a 25 to 30 subcooling. Superheat is coming in pretty well. We're not quite balanced out yet, but at 72 degree outdoor temperature, it's going to be difficult to actually get an accurate charge anyway. So I'm satisfied that the system runs fine, that the charge is okay in heating the way it sits. I'm going to pull the condenser fan and see what happens. in our superheat which is not surprising since we don't have any airflow on the outdoor coil. I doubt that we'll be able to get a force of a defrost at 72 degree outdoor ambient. Suction line's plenty cold at 20 degrees. We got defrost. Not that I didn't expect it anyway. But it's nice to know that it worked. We're going to let it finish off its defrost cycle and then we'll switch the reversing valve back again. And we'll button it up. There we go. I will say that there was one positive thing, one very small positive thing to the Transit Connect, and that was a small gas tank. When I go to fill up this van, it's got a 30 gallon tank in it or so, and at current gas prices, it tends to run plenty of money to fill up the truck. Um, I think I'm putting my third tank of gas into my work truck so far. Eventually I will lose track, but I figured it'd be fun to keep track of it for now. Um, three tanks of gas, not that many miles uh, traveled, but yeah. Three tanks of gas in this new truck, new to me. I'm going to swing through the gas station, get uh, the truck filled up, and see what else I can get into this afternoon. If nothing else comes up, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And don't forget, you can use coupon code R-A-R-D-O-N at truetechtools.com to save 7% on your purchase. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.